everybody needs fresh water. We have to convince people of their environmental rights. People do have a right to a clean environment. But somebody's deciding risk factors for you. We give up on the Great Lakes. We'd wonder if there's such thing as human wisdom. We are completely surrounded by the petrochemical industry. Most of the chemicals that come out of industrial facilities, petrochemicals, pesticides, heavy metals, don't dissolve in water. Every chemical that we've looked for, we have found. We're living in a soup of chemicals. The generation of my daughters have grown to trust that the government is watching the environment, and sometimes it's not happening. There are all sorts of modern substances that we are exposed to. We don't really understand and feel that we are being exposed. Everything has its consequences, both good and bad. If you don't think everything through carefully, you don't know what kind of undesirable side effects you might wind up with. I used to have ducks, I used to have geese, I used to have snapping turtles. A lot of that good fish die out. I believe the lake is turning into a bog. five Great Lakes. They pour through the heart of North America and the lives of 35 million lucky people who have plenty to drink in a thirsty world. In that journey lies the story of the last great supply of fresh water on Earth. I made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes.